There's been more fallout from a Channel 2 investigation into a potentially deadly punishment workout involving the University of Houston women's soccer program. Since our report Tuesday night, the university has launched an internal review. University leadership does not want to speak with investigator Mario Diaz, but others are. Tonight, Mario shows us how the public institution has been battling Channel 2 all the way to the state attorney general's office over records they don't want us to have and don't want you to see. No one was going to say anything. Everyone was so scared. Silence out of fear. It's what this University of Houston soccer player says took place during a punishment workout in February 2018. Now more silence, this time at the highest levels of the university administration. Leaders refusing to talk about multiple incidents where women soccer players were diagnosed with a potentially deadly condition known as rhabdo. It looked like there was a tennis ball sticking out of her arm. Throughout months of our investigation into physical punishment within the UH women's soccer program, head coach Diego Bocanegra, athletic director Chris Pesman, and university president Renu Couture would not sit down for an interview. That was pretty horrifying. State Senator Paul Bentoncourt sharing concerns about the punishment workout and the lack of transparency. He has legislative oversight over Texas universities as a member of the Senate Committee on Higher Education in Austin. You can't have this type of behavior occur and then not have an explanation for it. The, the university owes the, the students and their families and quite frankly the public an explanation. An explanation has been hard to come by. In addition to silence from leaders, the university has gone to great lengths to keep information about punishment workouts out of the public view. In April, Channel 2 Investigates received a series of emails we requested under the state's Public Information Act, but we identified emails missing. The request incomplete, including email conversations between between Coach Bocanegra, senior leadership in the athletic department, and parents. In late May, after an attorney for Channel 2 called the university out, we received 11 missing emails. The university claiming the omission was inadvertent. Several emails we originally received in April are heavily redacted, meaning information is blocked out. Communication involving senior leadership concerning punishment workouts are missing entire sections. The university claims the information is private under state law and asked the state attorney general to keep it secret. Unfortunately, this is an epidemic that goes on with Houston institutions, city, county. I'm sad to see U of H is following it where every open records report Request is being kicked to the AG for stalling purposes, in my opinion. In Wednesday night's statement, the university writes that our report brought to light specific details of an event involving the UH women's soccer program that were previously unknown to the university. However, an email from January 28, 2019 shows senior leadership at the university was indeed made aware of a team punishment within the women's soccer program. A 90-minute meeting in detail is referenced. Pez and Chizer received the email, as did President Couture, who was forwarded a copy of the detailed email one day later. Keep in mind, Channel 2 Investigates also reported on physical punishment within the program in mid-April. Yet the school says they are only now conducting an investigative review because they were unaware of specific details. This is not what I expect of a Tier 1 university that's made a lot of strides to get to that status. And now they won't respond on an issue that really is a health and safety issue to kids in a soccer program. I'm calling on them to do the right thing and to tell the public what really happened. Brian Panish is a Los Angeles attorney who has represented families where a collegiate athlete was hospitalized following a workout. In late May, Panish told us what President Couture should have done. I think she should have immediately uh, conducted an independent investigation, brought some outside people in. Now, we asked the University of Houston today if there are plans to bring in an outside independent party to conduct an investigation. The university says that it is all being done internally. No additional outside party is planned at this time. Since Tuesday night's report, Channel 2 Investigates has spoken with parents associated with the program. Here's what some have said. Highly disappointed that they are not talking. They should have come clean after the first report. It's got to be made aware of. It's sad that U of H is not addressing it publicly. It's a slap in the face because we find it hard to believe that they did not know 
the rhabdo was a result of physical punishment. Bill Dominique, once again, the university throughout our investigation has not made any senior university officials mentioned in our reports available for an interview. So is that it for you? Are you going to stop here or are you going to keep trying to get them to com comment on this? We have more into this investigation, Bill. All right, Mario. Thank Very you. Well. Thank you, Mario.